So, hello guys, how are you doing? So, this is Eugene from Kenya. It's a good evening from Kenya. So, today I have an interesting topic that I want to talk about. So, it's about this girl. She's around 17 years and she goes on and defies her race. Um, actually, she's black. She could be black American or she could be African American. But she goes ahead and says that she is white and she belongs to the Caucasian. So, that's not a problem. It might be uh, societal factors that has made her to make such kind of choices. But she is a really strong racist. And in as much as a family is saying that they are proud African Americans, the girl goes ahead and says that she is white and African Americans belong to be in jail. Now, the guy asks him, do you know the percentage of whites in jail and the blacks who are in jail? Turns out that the percentage of African Americans in jail are not as many as the whites who are in jail. So guys, I want you to watch this video. It's a it's so painful video that this girl is the is the nine stress even in front of his brother and his mother. And his mother is totally his mother is totally humble and she has accepted that she's an African American. So let's watch the video and then I'll tell you what I think about it. Feel that way about your brother? Well, actually, I put my family on a higher level than I put African Americans because they're so low that I would never put my family there. Like, I would never want them to actually be on the same level as African Americans. But your mother's African American. Well, I mean, supposedly, but you know, I'm not gonna put her on the African American level. I don't know, because then but I will treat her like Are you African American? Yes, I am proud. Are you African American? I am 100% African American. Um, So when, when you lump them all together, they're telling you straight up they're African-Americans, so. I mean, if they're African-Americans, they're uncivilized people. So you're, you're, you're saying your brother is uncivilized? They deserve to be in jail. I mean, if they want to be African-American, then that's where they go. You know, that's what African-American people do. They do go to jail. Do you things that's coming out of your mouth right now? Of course. Do you, and, do you actually, like you say you have perfect ears, do, you, do they work? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that you identify ethnicity wise um, with a Caucasian group, that's your choice. Um, what's offensive to me is why you would be such a racist about it because let me tell you if you want to identify with the caucasian group of which i am a member uh, you are not welcome let me tell you wow wow, wow. because you are saying wow. you are saying ugly hateful disgusting things about decent caring, loving human beings. And I just find that, so I, I find that, and, and you are so ill-informed. You say, like, you know, the prisons yeah, are full. Have you looked at the statistics? You, have, you looked, have you looked at the statistics? Yes, I okay, have, well, as a matter of fact. you should know that African Americans are the most incarcerated people out here. Oh, really? So, yes. Okay, well, let's actually talk about that, because according to the Federal Bureau of, of Prisons, the prison population is 37.9% black and 58.2% white. Well, you're not looking at factual information. That's August 2018. Mm -hmm. Well, then you're not looking at factual information. I am looking at factual information. And what the fact that you declare it not, the, the fact that you declare it not factual, is just simply wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. I know exactly what I'm talking about. I know that black people are criminals. And you talk about blacks being uh, thuggy and criminal. Have you ever read anything about the Aryan Brotherhood? I mean, well, I mean. <laughs> How do you think it would go if you showed up at a KKK rally? I mean, I'll tell them I'm one of them. They would be like, okay. Hand me a robe. She has talked about having her skin bleached. Yeah, like Michael Jackson. I support that. Like, I feel like if I had the choice, I most definitely would make a white transition. Because being black is just so gross and ugly. I don't want to be well, that. I thought you were Caucasian. Huh? Oh, no, I mean, my skin is a darker toned. I don't like that. It's not cute. 
I don't think she really identifies as Caucasian. I think she identifies as racist. Well, I decided to do a little exercise with Treasure while she was in Los Angeles. We'll see how her assignment went. One thing interesting about the girl is that she identified himself like um, she used an example of Michael Jackson. One thing that she doesn't understand is that Michael Jackson had a problem with skin. He didn't just turn his skin to, to be white. Remember, before Michael Jackson had a plastic surgery, he did a skin surgery around 12 times. Later on, she was diagnosed with a skin disorder called vitiligo. So you understand that such kind of topics are need to be carried with a lot of care. And the girl is, she's so ignorant. And even the person who hosted the show turns her down because that's so racist of her. How could you just come out of nowhere and say that African Americans are people who belong to jail? I mean, who said that? Who said that? She doesn't understand one thing. If she says that African Americans belong to jail, hmm, who are the people who made America? It's the African Americans who made America. It's the black Americans who made America to be the America that you are seeing right now. So she was so racist to say that. And there are some, a lot of things that might have caused that. One, it could be a couple of friends that she relates with. Two, it's the environment. Maybe the environment that the girl uh, is bred has a lot of westernization. And this is something that has entered in her mind, this kind of stereotype, because she is bred in a place where she is told that the blacks are people who are associated with crime. The black are people who are associated with bad things. Yet they haven't seen the achievements that the black people have done. If I was an African-American today, I could have been proud because they are the people who 90% have built American and a lot of things, be it music, be it art, be it education, be it everything, they have championed even the science. So African-Americans are not associated with crime and maybe she's just not educated, maybe she's a child, but she needs to be tamed while it's still Harley. So guys, let me think what you will say in the comment section. Do you think this girl is right for what she said? If you think she's right, let me know in the comment section. I appreciate your comments and I'll take them with heed. But always remember to stay kind with your comments because there are some people who are not polite with their comments. I believe that we are human beings and we can't say that there is a given group that belongs to be to jail as compared to a given group. You see, the Western society have sold this picture that something relating to Africa, something related to black is not good. And that's one thing that it has also manifested to the children. As you could see this young girl, this young girl could deny his family. She could betray his family in front of everyone. And remember, this is a public show. So you could imagine what type of I don't know, I'll describe it. What type, is it a virus or something that has entered into her mind such that she's so racist to, to the extent that she doesn't even recognize what is family? I believe that family are people who stick together. Family are people who are together no matter what goes right, no matter what goes wrong. Okay, you understand that? Um, there's human beings, okay? And purposefully, we were born in image and likeness of God. So we can't say that there's a given race which is associated with other things. And as I've just said, this is something that the Western influence is spreading into the mind of young youths. That's why there are a couple of people in the United States that doesn't want to recognize them as African Americans because they have been sold these things, because they that's what they believe that they are. Without knowing that their roots is in Africa, whether they like it or not. All right, foundationally, you are black American. Foundationally, you, you've stayed in American, but your roots belong to Africa. So when somebody um, tries to identify themselves as white, yet they are not white, it might be a problem, and which makes us ask a lot of questions by ourselves. So guys, I would like to know what you'll say in the comment section. See you guys, and kindly, if you're watching this video for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. If you're my returning viewer, I salute you. Thank you to all my fans in the United States. Thank you to all my fans in the United Kingdom. Thank you to all my fans from Ghana. Thank you for my fans from the Caribbean, Barbados. I salute you.
See you guys in my next video. Salute.